All right, you guys. Um, so I, I normally cook a lot more than this at one time, but I need to go shopping. Uh, and so I want to finish off these things. So this is broccoli, which I basically steamed. And this is Brussels sprouts, which I uh, baked in the oven. And salmon is baked, of course. And you notice that there's no carbohydrate source as well. I mean, there's carbs in this, but not very much. Okay, so there's no um, carbohydrate rich foods here. And that's because my diet's pretty low in carbs. And that's just what I prefer to do. It's not necessarily what I recommend. But for me, as a sustainable measure, it does work best. Now, here's some of the spices that I use. Uh, you're probably familiar with a lot of these, especially if you go shopping at Costco. Um, but uh, all of these here I put on my salmon and salt. Did I put all these on my Brussels sprouts? No, I just put salt, pepper, and garlic on my Brussels sprouts. And of course, nothing on the broccoli. All right, now all of this took like what? For me to prepare like, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. All right, so um, there you have it. Not hard now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bag these up and they'll go in the fridge. And I'll show you guys that at some point soon here. Fit and 10 Nation is day four of the Fit and 10 Challenge and that was some of my food that I eat on a regular basis. Brussels sprouts, broccoli and, and uh, Salmon, actually every morning I have salmon and I have um, either Brussels sprouts or broccoli, usually it's broccoli and I put nut butter on the broccoli, which I'll show you guys um, in the near future. Um, nut butter, of course, would be a source of fat. Sam would be a source of protein and um, I get a little bit of carbs in that meal from the nut butter and the, uh, and the vegetables, but not really much. I follow a low carb diet, it's what works for me. It's what's sustainable for me and, and I feel good on could potentially work for you, but um, you know, as I said, I want to give you guys as much variety to start with in this plan. Um, I believe that more variety is better, and it makes things a little bit more normal than cutting things out. Okay, um, you're fine to cut things out if you like. For example, if you're a vegetarian or you're vegan, or you're gluten intolerant or whatnot, or you have certain allergies, then perhaps you can't eat certain foods, and that's okay. But you can eat whatever you want in this, of course. Um, I give you that option within the confinements of your macronutrients, which I sent out yesterday, right? Um, and uh, somebody asked me, man, so much food, so many calories. Well, you know, the reality is, is actually it's not that many calories. And a lot of you are probably uh, consuming more calories than I'm giving you. Um, it just, it's just maybe not having the same amount of volume. And um, so it's the volume of food that's going to feel like it's a lot of calories, but but the reality is it's not a lot of calories, it's just a lot of volume of food, right? And when you're eating natural foods, and I, actually, you know, I really dislike using the word natural. When you're eating, you know, foods that are as least refined as possible, you know, they're from the ground, they're from the tree, a bush, or from, from an animal, um, typically speaking, you're gonna get more volume, you're gonna get more nutrient density, but you're not gonna get caloric density, okay? So that's the power behind those um, min minimally refined foods. Um, so, um, you know, why, 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 why give you so many calories? Like, why not just give you less calories, right? Like, why not give you 25% less calories than I'm giving you right now? Well, we'll talk about that in more depth in the future, but just think of it this way. Um, in terms of long-term fat loss, we want to keep your calories as high as we can, uh, while still losing body fat. Okay. So. Um, if you look at on average what you're burning, just, just your resting metabolic rate, so this is basically the energy that your body requires to keep the lights on, you know, keep your brain functioning, your organs functioning, keeping your body temperature up, etc. Um, that's going to be like the majority of your, of your calories for the day, okay? The rest is going to come from things like um, exercise activity and non-exercise uh, activity thermogenesis and the thermic effect of food okay these are all other areas where energy will be consumed and I'll talk about those things more in detail in the future um, but you can look at it this way with the amount of exercise I'm giving you and everything else considered that is your lean body mass which we know from your scan your calories are not too high okay well chances are they are not too high okay there could be an outlier here or there where it might be too high but for 98% of you, you're fine. Hopefully 100% of you, you're fine. Okay? And you're gonna drop uh, body fat at, these, at this caloric level. 
All right. Um, all right. I'm getting to five minutes here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cap it there. There's a lot more I want to say about calories and and is a calorie just a calorie? I'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, but let's go with the message of the day, and it is this: If you talk about it, it's a dream. If you envision it, it's possible. But if you schedule, it's real. All right. So let's say it again. If you talk about it, it's a dream. If you envision it, it's possible. But if you schedule it, it becomes real. Okay, so schedule everything in. Schedule, might sound might seem a little bit ridiculous to you, but it's the way things are gonna happen. Schedule in your cookouts, okay? I, I usually recommend doing a big cookup uh, twice a week. So make a bunch of food, put it in the fridge, it's all ready to go. And then schedule in your workouts, all right? Schedule in your cardio workouts, schedule in your, your, your regular workouts, and then make them a priority, okay? If you just just are like, well, I'm gonna do it this week. I got, oh yeah, I gotta do three workouts this week. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that uh, at some point. It, it won't happen. You're gonna reach the end of the week and be like, holy shit, like what happened? Um, why, why, why did I not get all my workouts in? Or why did I not get my food in? You gotta plan and prepare. It's the only way it'll happen, okay? You cannot wing this. Uh, you're gonna hear me say this over and over again. You cannot wing this, all right? So plan, prepare, and execute, all right? So submit, commit, you guys do what you gotta do, and I will talk to you all soon. Day five coming tomorrow, and we got a workout coming this weekend, and let's also talk about when we're gonna schedule our Costco shop run, okay? We'll talk to you guys all soon. See you guys. Oops, let's try this again.